G'day and welcome to the vlog. Back in the bathroom again for a change. I would come in here and get my hair all nice and pretty and do my makeup because I'm going to head out and go to the skate park and you got to look good if you go on the skate park, I reckon. Um, oh, life. What is up with life at the moment? I just found out some crazy stuff. Like, I had a disagreement with my best mate the other day. That was what the video was the other day about. And I was like, that's cool, man. That's how you feel. But, like, I can't have that in my life anymore. I need to remove that from my life. Because I need people in my life that respect how I feel. And so I unfriended on Facebook and that was fine. And then tonight, she got sent some screenshots with the dude telling lies about me and them. And I just can't believe this. This is like, this is the best mate I've ever had. And now, this. Last night, I found out someone else I considered a personal friend that said some other pretty horrible stuff about me and I'm just like like I honestly don't get it I have done a lot of bad stuff in my life like I I was an alcoholic and addict for a long time I didn't care what anyone thought about me I didn't even know I was hurting people that's how bad I was like I just I didn't care because I didn't know and I didn't care I was an addict all I cared about was getting drunk so I've done a lot of really bad stuff in my life and like I understand that, man, and I've had to forgive myself for a lot of it because I can't carry it around like a burden because it just weighs on me and I need to focus on healing and moving on. But I know I've done it and I take ownership of it and I'm every day trying to make up for it, trying to do better with me because I see that's the only way I can make up for a lot of the stuff. I just don't understand why people then need to make up stuff on top of that. Like, literally there is enough bad shit in my life that no one ever needs to make up a story to make me look bad. I'm, I'm the best at making me look bad there is. But apparently it's still not enough. Which is really confusing and annoying, but I told you I'm dedicated to Soberholic again. So I'm gonna go and do what got this all started? Skate. I'm going to go and make a skate video. Heading over to Newcastle to Paris tonight. I haven't been there for a while, so I'm really excited. They've got a new half pipe there, which I can't wait to try out. So I'm going to go chuck skates in the car, get in there and go. And we'll catch up with you once we're over there. Still going skating. I got a little bit held up with some jobs at home, so probably not going to make the skate part, but going to go for a street skate. Got Francis here with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Frances is a bit shy, and whenever someone points a camera to her, she always pulls a funny face. It's hilarious. <laughs> Do it. Do the face. No. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go for a skate. I've just put... Oh, I missed it. I just pulled up at the supermarket, and this dude had parked, like, across two car parks, and halfway in and halfway out in the lane. I wanted to show you guys. It's just pulled out. So, anyway. Finally arrived in Newcastle, parked up, ready to go on a street skate. It's not really come out on the camera that well, but it's so beautiful over here. Now, the reason I was late for the skate park tonight and ended up coming street skating instead was as I was about to head out the door, I had a phone call from uh, my stepdaughter from a relationship I had well, 12 years ago now. Um, I was with her mum when she was born and unfortunately we split up due to my crappy behaviour. Um, I think she was about 18 months old or something when we split up. And luckily she, I've managed to stay in her life up until this point. And yeah, as I was leaving at the house I was, I was ready to get out and get amongst it and try and change my mindset. But hearing the voice of the sweet little girl that I love like she's my own ringing me up and telling me she needed a bit of support she wasn't feeling great and talking and laughing with her for half an hour was totally worth missing the skate park it's amazing like just how life works out sometimes so I'm gonna go out 
have a street skate and see how that goes and just enjoy feeling this nice, happy, calm feeling. Another absolutely stunning night skating in Newcastle. Decided to go somewhere of a different night. Normally head over the beach, over where those lights are and that. It's quite a pretty view across the water. Came into town tonight, skated down the tram tracks, and now we're in a little place called the Carriage Shed, which is awesome. It also has some uh, local artworks on the ground and other interesting art installations that make absolutely no sense whatsoever. I haven't had dinner tonight, but I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Man, what, what a crazy day. What a crazy week. I have I found out that no matter who you think you can trust, you basically can't trust them. Um, life sucks. But you know what? I am actually mentally I'm better than I have been in a good six months. We're closer to eight months. Like honestly this year, right now, mentally this is the best I've been in such a long time. I feel empowered, I feel refreshed, I've finally got rid of the people in my life that I thought were there for me and they've shown their true colours and now I'm just continuing to work on surrounding myself with really good people that actually care about me and are healthy for me and not people who leave me questioning whether my friendship means anything, whether I mean anything or whether I even matter. And it's, it's working out great. I have a very small circle now compared to a very large circle at the start of the year. And I've got to say, I'm a lot happier now, a lot more confident, and I'm excited for the future. Now given three months ago, I was actively suicidal. That's a pretty big change and yeah, it's awesome. I'm sober, I'm happy, and I can't wait to see what the next adventure is, see what the future is, and see what other amazing new humans come into my life and just completely blow my mind with their awesomeness every single day. I'm happy, I'm excited. Sorry again for the crappy video and audio. I'm trying to work out how to upgrade some gear at the moment. As soon as I can, I will do that, I promise. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. See you on the next one. Bye! Don't wait me up.